Hey folks, this is Kalani. I'm going to be having a look at how you can get the most out of your crafted gear as a DPS. Now this is going to be pretty DPS focused, simply because healers and tanks have a few other stats to worry about. Healers have their focus recovery in resource management, and tanks have a myriad of mitigation stats to make staying alive a little easier. So to start with, DPS want assault power. Pretty much your main focus should be assault power with anything else coming as an extra. Mainly because the amount of stats required for, say, strike through, crit chance or crit severity is actually really ridiculous when compared to assault power. So I don't think I've got a great deal of examples. I guess the PvP gear is, is a little bad for an example, but if I were to gain 26 finesse, I would only gain 0.1% strike through. Now, if you're curious about this add-on, which shows the percentages at the bottom, that's called E Tooltip, and will put a lot of things into perspective for you, simply because 26 additional brutality would give me far more DPS than that 0.1% strike through chance. So, it's it's kind of ridiculous to the point where we actually want to stack our assault power stat, in my case brutality, to the point of capping it on several pieces of armor. So that's what we're going to be doing with crafting, but that's not everything. So rune slots on your gear are actually a large DPS increase if you can get the correct ones. So for me, fire and fusion are pretty much ridiculous. This goes for pretty much everyone, but fire has the chance to give me brutality in the attributes. So it gives me assault power, which everybody's after, and it also gives me brutality, which is my assault power stat anyway. So failing everything else, if I don't have the necessary materials, I guess, for for assault power runes, then I can still throw in a brutality and and it's it's okay. But what we're looking at is assassin rune of assault power and then in Elder Runes, Fusion Blast Rune of Assault Power. Now, this is your best one, but sadly this will cost you about 1 plat 50 gold every time you want to make this, and you need 20 to get the most out of it. So, you can do the math, and that's slightly more than I have available, and it's pretty expensive, but that's eventually where you're aiming for. And this Fusion Blast Rune of Assault Power is in Fire and Fusion, down in Elder Runes. So that's going to be your best one, but failing that, Assassin Rune of Assault Power. It's also considerably cheaper. So your rune slots are also really important, which is quite fun with crafting, because you can recraft and recraft and recraft until you end up with something like this, where we've got four armor pieces, one of them with two fire and a life slot, which isn't great, and that life slot as a fusion would be amazing, but two fire slots I'm pretty happy with. We crafted a bunch of boots and we eventually ended up with two fire slots which I'm relatively happy with and then we crafted quite a few heads and ended up with pretty much nothing. Air slot, logic slot and fusion slot rather is is not great and then it, it kind of teeters off to, to only one rune slot but when you're crafting don't pay a great deal of attention to what it actually tells you. So, 0 to 1 rune slots. Um, that's a lie. So, it's actually 0 to 4, depending on how lucky you are. But, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can craft myself some upgraded legs. My current legs have 100 brutality. So, that's pretty much all we're looking at to, to beat. If you're curious about this add-on, this is Virag's Auto Circuit. This is going to help me mass-produce items. You'll see it in, in work a little bit after. But we want Brutality, we'll throw in a core. For this, you want to be using Refined Star Shard Power Cores. If you don't have a technologist and can't craft these yourself, pick them up on the commodities for around 2-3 gold. It's pretty much required if you want to get anything out of this gear. We want Moxie and... Oh, we'll put Crit Hit on there and Moxie on there. That's kind of that's kind of bad. So when you come to this kind of slot, this is a primary slot, which is kind of bad because a primary slot will use less charge for the stat that's in it. So for these legs, putting if we can swap this around, putting brutality in here, and it's really bad. If we had if we had a primary red slot, that would be fantastic. 
but this this slot with the outer ring uses less charge so if you have a situation where you need to use a red in a blue like this if it was a primary slot with the large circle around it it would actually use a lot less charge even though you're using the wrong color but I think it's still going to be beneficial sadly to use our red and red just to use the least charge possible for the amount of stats we need to be 100 brutality which is okay can we go one higher? One higher? No. So the second thing we're going to do is fully overcharge the item. So we're going to go to 118 brutality with a 23% chance to fail. Simply because crafting is cheap. Yeah, This is the cheapest way to get items. Regardless of what you're doing, you should have enough money to mass produce quite a few crafting pieces quite happily. I mean this this craft costs about three gold. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy overcharging this to full capacity. Can we go a little higher? We can. It's only for crit hit chance though. Which I'm not too bothered about. If we could get more brutality, I would. So what I'm gonna do here in VRAGs is to craft five of these items. It's completely recorded the sockets, so it'll auto fill one hundred and eighteen brutality, etc etc and we want to use the same power cores and let's start so this is going to craft me some items nice and automatically mass produce we're looking at the slots more than anything so not really happy thus far still not that happy we've only got a single slot a life slot so this process will pretty much repeat until we get the items that we want we can craft another five legs with my current power cores but you get the general idea so brutality up to 118 and it's literally rinse repeat if you can get yourself an item with your maxed out assault power stat for me that's brutality with rune slots which really benefit you so if I can get two fire I'll be really happy if I can get two fusion or to fire and then another rune slot either fire or fusion so maybe two fire and a fusion two fusion and a fire that's pretty much amazing and you, you can't really go wrong with that item and you'd be very 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 hard pressed to replace it even in the the opening raid which when you think about it is kinda ridiculous the gear that you can craft is better than pretty much anything you can get before raids and even then it's still better than than some of the gear in raids now if that sounds too good to be true you just need to look at the stat weighting having 118 brutality is is far better than 90 brutality and 40 moxie simply because of the stat changes it gives you so what you want to look at is your main stat and very little else which is kind of really weird and feels kind of wrong at some times but you can you just have to download the tooltip and look at the the percent changes yourself it it really is ridiculous but i mean we got a fusion slot which i'm not really all that happy with really at all we could throw in another assault power rune but i don't know we'll have to see how that goes and i'll have to make some more starshard cores and i'll happily continue because i've got plenty of galactium and this really doesn't cost me a great deal and at the end of the day, if I can walk into a dungeon with full best in slot gear pre raid, and even then, you know, including some of the drops from raids, I'm gonna pretty much be laughing. Although, it makes me question whether there's a great deal of value in in running other things for gear if you can get best in slot from crafting and as a quick note at the end this is probably why we have no access to powerful hybrid cores if we can craft gear from expert armorer for heavy anyway which is better than everything you can get in dungeons and better than some raid gear what do you think would happen if we had access to either a what a refined hybrid power core maybe an epic hybrid power core from technologist expert research can you imagine what we could create from expert research armorer outfitter and tailor if they were already available in the game I think that would be pretty ridiculous 
but that's how you can get the most out of your crafting. Pay attention to your stats, pay attention to your rune slots, and you can walk away with gear that you won't replace anytime soon. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.